Hey, this is Mike with 5-Minute Guide. This video is going to take a look at how relative and absolute formulas work in Excel. So, by default, all formulas in Excel are relative. What that means is, if I were to create a formula here in, uh, let's say, H6, I'm going to make a nice little sum formula and sum up all of my income sources. I wish these were my income sources. Uh, plus, whatever the potential bonus is above. So I have sum F5 through F7, that's our income sources, plus, plus H5, that's the bonus, which on this particular cell is zero. Um, so I come to 3201. Now I want to copy and paste that formula right through all of the possible bonus cells. So I copy, Control C, or Command C, depending on what kind of uh, system you're using, and then Command V or Control V to paste it. You'll see that the only thing that is registering in this new cell is the bonus. So what happened? Okay, let's take a look at the formulas. In H6, the income sources are in F5 through F7, so that's right. And then we're adding H5, so that's right. Now we move over to I6, and Excel is trying to add G5 through G7, which is nothing. There's no there's no income in that <laughs> in those cells. Uh, but it is adding the bonus. So what's going on? You see, as we move the formula over one cell, or over one column, Excel changed the formula to reflect that move, which is great for our bonuses, but we want to always look at the same income source. So what we can do is we can put the cash sign in front of the pieces of the formula that need to stay the same. So we want the column F to stay the same. For good measure, we'll go ahead and make the row stay the same as well, but that doesn't necessarily have to stay the same um, in this particular instance. But done this way, cash F, cash 5 through cash F, cash 7, nothing about that part of the formula will change at all when we move it over to the next cell. Um, now I'm going to leave H5 as it is because I want H5 to be relative as it moves. I want that movement to be reflected in my bonuses. But I want to always look at F5 through F7 in each of these options. So now I copy and paste and you'll see that it now reflects F5 through F7 plus I5. Now Excel also has a hotkey that can be used to change the absolute and relative values of the formula. So if I double click on my formula and I highlight this section F5 through F7 and I hit F4, you'll see that it changes it and it will cycle through all of the options that we have. So we have completely absolute, we have absolute row but a relative column that means as it moves from left to right, it'll change, but it'll never change if it moves up and down. Or we have absolute column with a relative row, which is just the opposite. Or we have completely relative. So that's pretty much it. Uh, it's a quick and simple trick to help making copying, pasting multiple formulas a lot easier, especially if they're complicated formulas where some parts need to change, some parts don't. Uh, but it's been a very useful tool in my Excel experience. Uh, I hope that it's very useful for you. As always, if you find this video useful, please tweet to your followers or share on Facebook. Um, that helps us out a lot. gives us a nice little traffic boost. And if you have any questions about this or you have any requests for videos that you'd like to see in the future, please leave us a comment and we will get on it as quickly as we can. Thanks.